We're here in Foy and I am on board Bessie Allen West Country Trading Catch. Here are the bows. Bowsprit with bowsprit net and the uh, jibs stowed neatly. Staysail here stowed and strung up on the halyard. for lifting the anchor and there's a uh, secondary fisherman's anchor nicely tarred ready for the season anchor windlass run by a 240 motor with a gypsy and a capstan drum either side can be run manually in the event of uh, loss of power to the crew quarters. And storage lockers either side on deck used for fruit and vegetables during the charter season. A deck is uh, solid, corked and paid, and paid with pitch. So uh, very traditional and easily repaired. This is the new mainmast, just installed this year. Made by uh, Luke Powell and his yard down in Truro. These are the dead eyes and lanyards, tensioning the galvanised rigging. And you see here, leftover tallow. See, mast has just been put in. The tallow is used to help ease the lanyards around the dead eyes as you're tensioning them up. This is the main hatch over the main saloon, which was her cargo hatch when she was working. Steel combings with uh, wooden boards and canvas top. Here's one of the uh, manual uh, bilge pumps. Again, same as the other side here, dead eyes and lanyards. It's a varnished oak pin rail with all the halyard falls. This oak frame on the hatch is to stow the life rafts will be brought on board ready for the start of the season. This is the uh, chart house, this little deck house here and also has the companion hatch entrance. Very traditional looking, gas locker on the port side. Here's the main sheet. either side. And the boom stays here on top of the jar house roof to keep it secure when you're not sailing. Here's the uh, running backstay for the main mast. Stand. 
suspensions without capping rail. The cover board, oak cover boards are painted and here's frame boards. For the MCA regulations, there's also a handrail to increase the height. Cowl bars here for mooring lines. and last ringing. end of the deck house into the chart room all the instruments easily at hand and good space here for charter guests to join whoever's navigating so they can learn what's going on during the trip coach roof here with large storage lockers on deck. This is the paint store. There's uh, the emergency uh, pump, diesel driven pump and the batteries are stored in under here. Emergency exit from the engine room. Aft end wheel steering. And here you've got the head of the rudder stock coming through the deck. chain drive onto the uh, tiller stock. Mizzen sheet, double tailed, down to oak cleats. Here's the gypsy for the steering chain drive and engine control panel. the entrance into the aft cabin. Here in the aft owner's cabin on Bessie Allen. A very comfortable space with a large double berth and a desk that pulls out. All the combings just been renewed this year. Back on deck looking forwards. The 
stood at the helm here. And you've got a very good view over the bows, enabling you to handle the ship in close quarters without too much difficulty. cabin space. Coming down below on Bessie Ellen, base of the companion steps. Here is the galley to port, full commercial galley. Fireproof sliding door. Dishwasher, stainless worktops, twin sinks. large six burner gas oven. Lots of storage space. Exactly what's needed for a busy, very active commercial charter vessel. There's a companion steps coming down from the deck outboard there you can see one of the uh, steel fuel tanks with the inspection hatch for cleaning 240 volt fridge aft here through the uh, watertight bulkhead with the watertight doors into the engine space There's the backup cola generator. Smart chargers. This is the 240 volt bilge pumping system. With the manifolds. So you can suck from the different bilges. You can also use it as a fire pump or deck wash pump. workbench and the main engine big six cylinder Volvo Penta very well looked after this is the engine driven salvage pump on this side is the main generator Eta Marine in the soundproof box the electrical Distribution panel. And all the riot wiring, neatly done running conduit. Again, everything is lined out. Fire retardant material. This is the uh, Robasto diesel fired heating system. 
there's hot water for all the radiators around the boat and uh, another uh, inverter three three thousand uh, watt Here we have the primary fuel filters in pairs with a selector tap. So if the filter gets blocked, you can very quickly change over to be running on clean diesel. It's the seawater intake shut off valve and the filter again very easily accessible if you suck up weed and need to clean it. Moving forward. Here's the uh, main heads compartment. Complete wet room with underfloor heating. Hot and cold water in the hand basin. Electric sea toilet pumps into a large black tank. And a shower with lots of headroom. Here in the main cabin, main guest cabin. Four large tables, serves for eating for guests and crew when working and Six berths either side, three up, three down, make up the 12 guest berths. Each berth has its own light and curtains here for privacy. Makes them very comfortable, very good sea berths. See above the boards of the cargo hatch can be moved for ventilation and light. These boxes are seating but also serve as storage and Beneath the seats, you can see radiators run off the Wabasto system to heat the cabin. Heading forward through another watertight bulkhead. Here is the base of the new mainmast. And here into the crew quarters, all rebuilt a few years ago in Svenborg in Denmark. To starboard, bosun store, washing machine, and chest freezer. In this cabin we have six single crew berths, each one private with its own light. Lots of storage space, all very nicely finished, very typically Danish. This is the crew heads compartment, manual sea toilet and a shower. Two more crew berths with 
lots of storage space all the way up through and then here more radiators run off the Wabasto and through this door into the anchor locker this is actually a crash bulkhead as well for emergency situations Here's the uh, companion hatch ladder out the full hatch. Moving aft into the saloon through the watertight bulkhead. See this fantastic, very large space, well suited for what she does at the moment but also very good for corporate functions and events. You get a lot of people in here very, very comfortably. And the galley, engine room, and the companion steps back on deck. 